want to celebrate the nice weather today. And many of you are feeling the madness over the NCAA tournament. Ohio State plays tonight and Cleveland State women take to the court on Sunday. But the big story is last night's upset, Ohio University beating Georgetown. The 14-point win was a record-setting performance by the team from Athens. Never before had a 14th-seeded team beat a third-ranked team by so much. And in Athens, pandemonium as students and fans took to the streets overnight in celebration. That celebration continues today. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska is on your side live in Cleveland. And Paul, March Madness is taking over. And we hope it's here to stay, Lee. You know, one of those players for Ohio University who helped uh, the Bobcats beat the Hoyas last night in stunning fashion, well, he's a Cleveland Heights High School graduate, graduate just graduating there from uh, just last year. That would be Reggie Keeley, a 6'8 freshman, number 30. Keep an eye out for him for the Bobcats. Meanwhile, it's lights, cameras, and action for the Cleveland State women's basketball team. The Cleveland State Vikings, 11 teammates that won the Horizon League Championship this year, are now headed to the big dance, ready to battle Notre Dame in South Bend Sunday. Today, they packed up the team bus and headed west, but this time, they're packing experience, having played in the NCAA tournament just two years ago. Teammates and twin sisters, Angel and Jessica Roke, say... We're ready this time. It's not so much, you know, about lights and camera and stuff like that. We're, you know, we're hoping to make more history at, at our school here and hopefully get that first round win. We're not as, I guess, starstruck this time, um, so we're definitely more focused. Meanwhile, how about Ohio University? The Bobcat fans are roaring today after OU pulled off a first round stunner. Shocking and upsetting powerhouse Georgetown. You have OU coming in at, I think, at uh, C14 or something like that. And a huge upset, man. My boyfriend graduated from OU, and he was really excited about the game last night and watching it and getting to see his school finally take home a win. And tonight, sports bars like the Winking Lizard are bracing for big crowds when the Buckeyes play in prime time. As the lunchtime crowd checked out their brackets and watched Xavier win, talk turned to the Bucks. It just depends which team shows up. They can be streaky. Um, if they play well, you know, they could go pr pretty far, you know, even Final Four. Adding to the basketball fun, Cavs fans are waiting for Z to rejoin the Cavs any day. All right, and adding to uh, all of this uh, madness, you have a high school showdown tomorrow night in basketball just down the street at CSU when Mentor battles St. Ed's in the regionals. Reporting live, downtown Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Pretty exciting time, even though a few people are feeling the pain today over yeah, that so upset last night. <laughs> some directed busters, right? All right, Paul, thanks very much. Okay.